Hello, everyone. I'm Andrea Fuji. And I'm Peter Dow. Tonight, a Southern California community comes together to mourn those killed in Tuesday's mudslides in Montecito. Today, the body of a missing 25 year old woman was discovered. Morgan Corey's body was found near Olive Mill Road around 9 this morning. Also, a man who was on the missing list was found alive. Search and rescue crews are still actively looking for survivors. The five people still missing are 17 year old John Canton, whose father died in the disaster. 28-year-old Fabiola Calderon, her son died Tuesday. 30-year-old Panit Sutitep and his daughter Lydia, his son died when mud slammed into the family home. And 53-year-old John Keating. KCOD 9's Jeff Nguyen is live now in Montecito with the very latest. Jeff. Well, Andrew and Peter, from where we are, you can hear a symphony of suction and scraping, and here's why. Take a look in this direction. This is the 101 freeway near the Olive Mill overpass, and you can see crews are working around the clock to clear out all of this mud. To give you a sense of just how deep it is, come and walk with me this way. You can see this sign. It's about 15 feet tall. You can see just how high that mud comes up to that yellow diamond right there. And as we pan our camera over in this direction, you can see just how difficult the work is. Crews are having to suck up a lot of water in addition to mud and debris and earlier today the latest body was found not far from here about 200 people came together for an impromptu candlelight vigil in downtown Carpinteria they wanted to honor the 19 victims who lost their lives in the Montecito mudslide Shauna Sears is friends with the Corey family who lost 12 year old Sawyer and 25 year old Morgan whose body was found today Sawyer's sister Summer survived and is in the hospital and her mother survived and is in the hospital. I grew up with their mother. Um, so yes, it's, it's very personal. Every time I turned the TV on, I would just start crying as they kept listing more and more victims that were found. The effort to find the missing and the dead has been done with the help of search and rescue dogs. After their long and grueling shifts, the canines go through a decontamination process to scrub off mud and anything that's mixed in from busted septic tanks. Michael Gross and his partner from the L.A. Fire Department were up here for the Thomas Fire, and they're back at it again. Uh, some hazards they deal with is mainly sharp objects. Another one is uh, pools. The pools look like just the regular mud. Some of the canines actually fell into the pools. Alix Manning Lee lost several friends in the tragedy. She was moved to tears when she saw firefighters covered in mud from head to toe. Look at how hard everybody's working on our behalf. This is the 101 freeway at the Olive Mill Road overpass in Montecito. Crews have been working nonstop to clear the mud that's at least five feet deep. This is why Anna McCaig's home is no longer livable. He and his wife were able to escape the deadly mudslide as it slammed into their home. But that's nothing in comparison to you know half a dozen friends, personal friends that have lost their lives in this tragic event. And because of all of this mud, Caltrans says that it is not sure when the 101 freeway will reopen again fully. In the meantime, the county is asking anyone who wants to help to make donations to the American Red Cross. In the meantime, another vigil is scheduled at the Santa Barbara County Courthouse tomorrow at 5 p.m. For now, Peter and Andrea, we'll send it back to you. Wow, Jeff, so much work ahead of those crews. Thank you.